what do we have here, guys? 2022 Kia Stinger GT Elite Package. My name is Christopher, this is Cars Unlocked. Let's check it out. So you've seen the Maximas on my channel. Now we have Kia's version of the four-door sports sedan, the Stinger. This one is the 2022 GT Elite Package, like I said, and look at this front end. Huge, long front nose, and it goes all the way down right into the brand new Kia emblem for 2022. We have our Ford camera, we have our Ford sensing system, and look at this nice honeycomb grill. It's kind of like two, I like the way how they slap the front license plate in the middle. Coming around to these LED headlights as well. This specific one has an MSRP of 53,298. And you can see it's sitting on these nice 19 inch aluminum alloy rims. Brembo brakes here, front and rear disc brakes. I do like the red calipers as well. And then let's come around and look at the side here. Mirrors are nice capped out here with our LED turning signals. Camera right on the mirror. That's gonna assist you when you're parking. You do have the sunroof on the top as well. And then when we come around to the back here, guys, super massive quad exhaust. Obviously this car is gonna come all wheel drive. We have our Stinger and our GT badging. Something I haven't really seen before is this nice power lift gate on these things. Uh, opens up to a very large trunk here. Then we have the 60-40 split for the seats. And then you also get the privacy cover as well. So very surprising with the power lift gate and it will close with the touch of a button. Let's take a look at under the hood. This one's gonna come with a 3.3 twin turbo turbocharged V6 engine. It's gonna give you about 368 horsepower eight speed automatic transmission. Like I said, high performance Brembo brakes. You're gonna get the all wheel drive. You're gonna get the launch control, which I can't wait to try. And then you'll have the electronic controlled suspension. For fuel economy, you're gonna get a combined 11.6 liters per every 100 kilometers. For all my American friends, that's about 25 MPG. In our center stack, this is the way to go. I like this shifter here. You basically just hold it right like this and then your thumb is right on the selector button. Um, Super nice shifter, and then I just push the button for the park. Nice silver accents, two cup holders. We have our electric parking brake with our auto hold. We have our drive mode buttons, and then we have our controls for our heated seats, our heated steering wheel. A little bit of storage here for my phone. There's also a QI charger and a USB and a 12 volt up here. And then we have this center console to store my pens and my business cards and things like that. So let's take a look at the key here. Um, I've seen this from Kia a lot, but now we have the new logo right on the key. You also get the remote starter on the key with this GT package, but let's start it up here. I think my favorite thing about this car is this one is the GT Elite with this suede package. So you get this nice gorgeous suede interior all throughout with the red stitching. The red stitching's all along the seats, it's all along the dash, it's all around the center console, leather wrapped wheel and then it kind of continues on the roof. So gorgeous suede stitching that I really like here, but let's see what we think. It's a little juice and she takes off nice. Like this is a nice accelerating car. Um, definitely like a, a lot of the technology in here. Heads up display right in the front, very visible display, which you can turn on and off. You have the nice paddle shifters, good positioning on the paddle shifters. They're not too small, they're not too big. And then this is gonna come with your heated and air-conditioned front seats. You're gonna get the memory seats as well, your automatic power mirrors here, and their power folding as well to help you in those tight parking lots. You hear that beeping there? That's the lane keeping assist, so it's just kinda telling me I'm deviating from the lane. And then you'll get the blind spot monitor. You'll get the cruise control, the adaptive cruise control from Kia, and you'll have also their Ford collision avoidance system. So quite a few bells and whistles on this thing. And I actually like the camera system. You notice right now I'm taking the right turn and there is this kind of right turn camera here. The Ford camera comes on to show me everything in the right turn. And then for infotainment, you're gonna get obviously your Apple CarPlay, all the necessary connections, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You're also gonna get this nice um, UVO Connect system. You can get that free for three years as well. 
And then you'll have this kind of digital display here, nice large wide screen, similar to what's kind of in the Telluride. You get this nice large wide screen where you can do your navigation, your GPS, um, and then your backup camera will come on there when you put it in reverse. So a lot of technology in this. Uh, Kia kind of started these circular vents that you see right throughout here. Um, and it really adds, makes the car feel very sporty with these nice circular vents. You get one just regular sunroof here, but I like the kind of suede cover that comes with it and it just flows right through the roof here. You can see that it's not too big, not too small. Automatic start stop as well, so it will help you preserve fuel. Uh, I definitely like how this thing handles. There's a nice pretty little acceleration there and she gets up really quickly. Uh, let's try a couple different drive modes. Put this thing in sport mode. I like on, on our uh, digital dash here, it tells me if I'm speeding. So right on my heads up display, it has the street sign recognition. So it shows me that we're actually going 80 in a 60 right now. So maybe slow down a little bit, but this sport mode feels nice. Definitely can feel the difference. Today's a little slick outside and we're filming in the, uh, a little light rain, but certainly makes for a fun drive. We're gonna try one quick launch here and see how she goes. Ready, three, two. Woo! That was 60 right there, so pretty quick zero to 60 and that was 100 right there. I let off a little bit at the end, only because we're in a 70 right now, so I don't want to go getting up too quick, but definitely takes off very well. Um, all of you guys Nissan fans, I, I think I like this one better than our Maxima there. Um, look at this, real fast turn and it hugs it. Takes it nice and well. Um, you'll also get the QI charger in this. Well, I know wireless charging is important to a lot of people, but yeah, this thing is nice. It pulls through the turns. The seats are like, I feel the seats nice bolstering in my hips. Like seats, very, very comfortable seats. No complaints there. Um, so I think I gotta come back and do a comparison like this versus the Maxima. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below what you guys think of the Kia, but. Uh, I know Kia's kind of making a comeback here and they're putting themselves on the, on the map. Um, definitely when I filmed the Telluride, I was very impressed. I'm very impressed with this Stinger. We're gonna shoot some more, but we definitely need to come back and do a comparison. This with the Maxima to see which one should you buy between kind of these four door luxury sedans, four door sports cars. Uh, but this definitely feels a lot more sporty than our Maxima to be honest. So. Special thanks to Cardinal Kia, my friends. That's the Kia store in Niagara Falls uh, for letting us use this vehicle. We'll put their link in the description below. And guys, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any more questions, do not hesitate to ask in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next one.